Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your three month forecast for uh, the next three months. So, from whatever type day you watch this, 30 days, the next 30 days, and the next 30 days. So, this is a three month forecast from the date that you watch it. This is for Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This reading is for you if Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is your star sign, sun sign, your main sign, only for this reading, for the readings that I do. I don't want you to go to all the other videos of all the other elements and just pick out which one you like the best. No, not for this reading. This reading is for your star sign, your sun sign three-month forecast okay so we're gonna start with this deck and we're gonna get month number one month number two and month number three and then we're gonna break it down with those other decks so month number one month number one Ooh. The sun card, beautiful. So right now, things are good. Things are looking up. You're probably vibrating very highly. You're going through some sort of enlightenment, um, a lot of happiness right now, or happiness is coming. There could be some healing going on as well. Whatever this is, is, is the next 30 days are gonna be good. I mean, they are. They're going to be good. They're going to be, you're going to be happy, happy. Okay? Very positive energy. A very positive month. Ooh. So, after that, the next month, we have a completion and a new beginning. So this is a, a major completion in your life. Something big, a phase of your life is, is really completing, is being finished. It's like stepping over the finish line of something that you've been working on. So something that you have been waiting to end or getting to the end of is actually going to end. It's actually going to complete in this second month. It's like a lesson. That's a, my lesson card, okay? And it's universally driven. So this is uh, the universe helping you to complete something. Month number three. Destiny, the wheel of fortune. A change of course, a change of fate. So your life is changing. Your life is changing in a positive way in the next three months. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. Within three months, you are going to get some sort of, I mean, this is good fortune. This is the wheel of fortune. Something good, something really, really good is going to come out of this. Whatever it is, whatever you're completing, whatever project you've been working on, you're going to, this is like a reward. Now, this is the world and destiny. This is a new chapter. You guys are about to start a whole new chapter, a big one. This is big. So, Aries Leo Sagittarius is going down a much more positive new road. Starting right now. And it looks like they're receiving or they're closing something out. And then at the end of it, they're going to receive a reward for learning some sort of lesson. Interesting. Let's see what we got. Right now, month number one. Month number one. Month number one. I'll zoom this in in just a moment. Month number one for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're going through some sort of rebirth. Oh, 
Look at that. So strength, confidence, self-esteem, willpower. You guys are regaining some sort of power. And your health may even be starting to improve. You may be working on your image. Raising your vibration. Your vibration is absolutely being touched. Put it that way. Um... Hmm. Interesting. So right now you haven't completely. That's why it's happening the second month. This is for the first month. This makes complete sense. So this card goes with this reading. And in the second month, you're going to complete this. So right now, something isn't finished. There's a lack of closure. closure. There's unfinished business right now. As you are watching this, for the next 30 days, there's unfinished business. There's something that needs closure. But by the next 30 days, you're going to get that closure. You're going to have to find strength, you know, to work on yourself. Work on your positive. Work on, work on being positive. Work on your health. Work on your abundance. Work on your self-worth. Work on you. Work on you. Right now, you're working on you. Because there's been a lack of energy, there's been poor health, there's been a lack of ambition, there's been a lack of drive. You guys have been holding on to something that doesn't serve you and you're in the process of dropping it. You're in the process of healing, you're in the process of releasing it, but it hasn't completely been let go of yet. So right now you guys are working on yourselves. You're probably working on your health, you're working on your image, you're working on your self-esteem and your self-worth, okay? And you're working on your money, you're working on everything, everything, but love, because there's no love in these cards. You're working on your following your dreams right now. You're looking at doing whatever you got to do. You're finding the control, the self-control to go after your dreams, and that's what's happening this month. The first step is healing because healing here, healing here, you guys are, and this is healing as well. You guys are going through a healing period right now, a cleansing, detoxification, and healing process because you guys have been bogged down by something you have that has stolen your energy. It's caused you to lose your concentration and your focus. You're in the process of dropping something. This is an addiction or an obsession or something that really didn't serve you you're in the process of releasing it right now right now and because you are finding the strength to do it you're going to receive a reward which is coming here okay see that's funny this card is actually touching this card and the ten and this is a reward so you are going to receive some sort of reward for the work you are doing right now. You are manifesting something really, really good. You're finding the strength to put yourself first. So let's get some clarifiers. You guys are releasing something that is has stolen your energy, has stolen your ambition. It's like you are. You're letting go of it. I'm not hanging on to that anymore. Could be a commitment. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys are, because you're releasing something. You're letting go. There's incompletion. Could be over a partnership. You guys could be releasing a partnership. I'm just going to be honest with you here. Because this is going on your own. Going your own way. I'm just saying. I mean, that's what this could be. But you could be headed towards another one. Some of you could be... Um, Finding happiness with another person. Let me just clarify that one. It's like, you may not want a relationship right now. See, one person's covered up and then we got this. I think that right now you may be turning down a love offer. Because you may not feel like that's where you're... You're, you need to go right now. That's not where your wishes are going to be. It's like, I'm not, this is like... I don't really want a relationship. I don't really want love or this isn't real love or I don't feel it right now. I'm not emotionally invested. I'm, you know, I just want to be by myself. So you may be deciding that you just want to be alone. 
to heal. Yeah, I think right now you are, you have other agendas, you know, your agenda isn't love. It's not commitment. I don't think your agenda is commitment this month. I think your agenda is raising your vibration. Your agenda is waking up. Your agenda is working on your health. It's working on you. It's working on, you know, following your dreams. It's working on healing. It's working on releasing a deceptive situation, something that, um, A magician reverse it's like a bad spell you know you're you're released yeah bad spell you're it's something that you've been through it's like something that went wrong you're you're in the process of still releasing it you are and I think it's a relationship whether it's a relationship with a partner a sexual partner or a family member or whoever it is you're releasing a relationship that uh, was really manipulating you in some way. It was affecting your health. It was affecting you. So you guys are, are in the process of stepping over that finish line. Right now you're in the process of taking back your power. It's a very powerful month of, of enlightenment, of healing, of um, finding your own happiness. So this is there's a lack of of com, uh, closure yet, okay? It, right now, right now, because you're still working on your abundance. You're getting yourself ready. You're getting yourself ready for this ultimate commitment, for your perfect match. Right now, you're in the process of getting ready. You're getting ready. You're healing. So I feel like right now you're not ready. You're not ready for the new beginning because there's lack of closure yet. You're not ready for that partnership, see? You're not quite ready for that ultimate partnership because you're still working on something that was manipulating you in some way, whether it was a drug or food or a person or whatever. You're, you're releasing something, okay? One more card. Not taking action in regards to love because you're working on you. You're doing what you got to do. But what's the outcome at the end of this 30 days? What is the outcome? You know, at the end of this 30 days, you're probably not ready to open up. Okay, you're not ready to open up. You're not ready to move any new directions. You're you're holding on to your stance. You know, you're holding on to your um, me time. You know what I mean? I think that you're probably not willing to budge as far as letting anybody into your life. You're probably protecting yourself right now. We have one more because you're getting prepared for the future right now you're you're getting prepared for the future and I don't think that you are going to let anybody come in and mess it up and change your mind your mind is unchangeable you may have somebody come into your life that's going to try some somebody that's going to come in and you know, try to manipulate you and try to throw you off course. And you could be dealing with a trick, uh, really tricky, deceptive, um, cunning individual who is holding, holding you back from success. This person is holding you back from happiness. And that's where you need to have the closure. You could be dealing with a Gemini, just saying. It could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It's... Uh, air sign could be any sign you're dealing with somebody that is that needs to be let go of that needs to be removed you need to go you need to be on your own you need to be away from this person whoever it is somebody is stealing your abundance and I think you know that and you're in the process of moving in a new direction you're just in the process this month you're, you're getting prepared. You're getting prepared for that ultimate arrival. Right now, you're playing a game. You're dealing with somebody who is keeping you, you know, involved in their game. 
All you got to do is, is drop your side and walk away. Walk away. You're choosing. You're choosing to play with this person. Let them win. Let them win. That's the ultimate strength when you can walk away from the battle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's true. If you can walk away from the battle, that is the ultimate strength. So this month, right now, you guys are in the process of regaining your health, regaining your strength. It looks like you're moving in a new direction, and there ain't nobody that can stop you. But I think somebody is going to try to. They're going to try to. And you're going to have to find the strength to perhaps move. Or to remain stable. Remain constant with your decision. Be wise. You're working on your abundance. You're working on your stability. You're working on your legacy. Remember that. Somebody may not want you to move because they want your money. Just saying. For some of you, that won't be with everybody. But it looks like this person thinks you are weak. Show them how strong you are. You've got somebody, you do, that thinks that they can manipulate you, that thinks that, they, that, thinks that you are weak. Prove them wrong. So that is for the first month. Second month. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, second month. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the second month. Enlightenment, healing, leads to a new beginning, an ending. It's going to be over. By the th next month, it's going to be over. Done. It is. That relationship is going to be done by the end of the second month, whatever it is. You're going to start to feel alive again. And you're going to start to feel happier. There could be some memories, you know, or somebody from your past that returns to your life. And when I say somebody from your past, don't choke and think it's the ex that hurt you because I don't think this is the case. This is somebody else. This is not the ex that hurt you. It's not. And I'm just here to reiterate that, okay? It's not. It's not. This is somebody, this is somebody that you know. You may meet, you may come into contact with this person at some sort of anniversary party or reunion or something like that. Where there's a, where there's a lot of family, where there's a lot of family. You're going to come into contact with somebody where there's a lot of family around. And you may be a little uncomfortable with this new connection. Okay, I think you're going to have a new connection that second month. And you may want to take it really, really, really slow. Because you've just went through a massive healing you're gonna, you're probably, <clears throat> like I just got out of something. I might need to take a little break. You might feel like you need to take a break, but because you have closed a chapter, the universe is gonna see it. The universe, it's the truth. And with endings bring new beginnings. So you guys are gonna have some sort of 
reunion with somebody that you've known before, and I'm going to tell you one more time. This is not the ex that hurt you. I know it's not. This is positive. It's not the ex that hurt you. And don't get your baby panties in a bunch and think, oh, it's my ex that's changed. No, that ain't it either. It's not. I'd tell you if it was. This is not somebody that you have built a foundation with before and you're going to start over. No. This is seeing things differently. This is somebody else that is going, you are going to run into somewhere where there's a bunch of family people, whether it's your family, their family, I don't know what it is, some sort of something in which you're going to be, you know, you're going to feel really comfortable with this person. You're going to feel like just a, just, just a serenity with this person, but you're going you're gonna to be like, I'm scared of this person. You know, I'm scared. I don't, I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. I'm just not ready. But you do have a new beginning. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, could be with a Pisces. But this is person is going to help you. They're going to help you. They're going to, it's going to be an equal situation where you're both feel the same way about each other where you both have an equal amount to give each other this is something that you deserve this is something that I mean you you deserve this connection for some reason you do this is really a gift it's like the universe is bringing you a gift that second month but you're going to be conflicted you're going to you're definitely going to be conflicted about it you are you might want to turn it right down. You might want to put to just, you know, turn this down immediately because you're afraid. You're afraid of being involved in a one-sided situation. You're really afraid of it. Yes, you're afraid of being lied to. You are. You're afraid of being lied to. You're afraid of being deceived, you know. I think that you're going to be you're going to come in contact with somebody and you may or maybe you feel like you know, you don't deserve this because you're not fully divorced yet or there's too much or you got a crazy ex or you're still dealing with a karmic situation or whatever. You may feel like you can't do this because you're just not ready. You're just not ready. It's okay to take it slow. I feel like you may, maybe you feel like now's not a good time. You know, I'm too distracted. I'm, I'm too distracted. And you may think negative about this whole situation. You're being very pessimistic here. Thinking that somebody is going to hurt you. Thinking that somebody, and this is thinking, that somebody is going to hurt you. This is negative thinking and this is negative thinking. Thinking that you're going to be deceived. You got to let go of that baggage. You got to let go of those burdens. You need to make a conscious change to open your eyes and trust people. You're probably like, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. There's lack of wish fulfillment unless you can let go of the past hurts, let go of the past baggage, please. And you know, this is, this is the second month. Maybe this is where the closure hasn't quite happened yet. Because I see a lack of wish fulfillment here. There's a lack of wish fulfillment because... <laughs> you need to put down your, your fight, put down your uh, need to fight to protect yourself. You're trying to protect yourself, Aries Leo Sagittarius. You're in defense mode. Afraid to get hurt, afraid to get taken, taken advantage of. When you have, you're going to be, you're going to be in contact with somebody that you're really, really comfortable with. But the fear, the fear of getting hurt, the fear of giving your heart away and having it stomped on. 
I think you guys are probably going to be a little bit emotionally cold, uh, shut down, cold, withdrawn. Don't have the courage. Don't have the courage to open your heart again. For some reason, you're holding on to something that needs to go. Let's clarify these over here. What's going to happen over here? You're going to start to see it clearly. You're something, you are, the, thing, the moon is reversed. That's good. You're going to, you're going to see something. You're going to receive some sort of epiphany about this. And you may decide to give this person a whirl. Same person. It is. I think it is. You, and this person may be of a different um, culture than you. They're not your usual type, but I, uh, they may or may not be. This person um, is going to, you're going to feel so comfortable. This person is a very, it's like you guys can be at ease with each other. It's going to feel so good that I think that you may decide to, to give it a whirl. You're just going to have to open your heart. You're probably going to second guess yourself because this is limbo. You're, this, and that's right here in the middle. The universe is going to present you with an opportunity for perhaps, you know, to join with somebody. And you're going to be stuck on making the decision. You know, I've been hurt so bad. I just got over this bullshit. I'm not sure that I can. But this connection is so strong that you may just decide to leap into the unknown. Step over that finish line. Step out of this pain once and for all right into happiness. So that could certainly be the case for the second month. Opportunity for the Two of Cups. With a past life connection. Seriously, that Six of Cups there. It is. It is. It's not the ex that broke your heart, so stop thinking it is. Um, this one right here. Let's see where the battery is at. It seems to be doing pretty good. Third month. We got to take them when they fall out. It's just who I am. We'll just go like, no, we can't do that. It's got to be right. We use this one right here. Um, third month. Change of course. Fated. Destiny. Make that decision. Unblocking your heart. But, <laughs> there's always a but, isn't there? <laughs> still, still, still afraid. Still afraid of, of getting hurt. Needing to go within. And reevaluate one more time. Got to reevaluate your future. Okay, you do. You got to reevaluate your future this month, third month. You're going to do that. You're going to have to take a time out and reevaluate. Do you really want to be alone or do you want a relationship? What is it going to be? There's an opportunity for happiness here. But do you want to be alone or do you want to be in a relationship? Now you got to make a choice. Because you're presented with to start a new life. This is a new life, a new chapter with somebody. You got a lot of life experience behind your back. And I think you're really afraid to see... You're afraid to see something. You're afraid to see. I think you see yourself get hurt again. You don't want to see yourself with the Knight of Cups reversed. You don't want to see that. You don't. You're trying to protect yourself big time. Big time, big time, big time. You know, this is the warrior, right? I got to protect myself. I got to protect myself. I do. That's what the warrior does. You're in protection mode. You know, you're, you're starting to have some feelings. 
and you'd have to give up your independence completely and you're thinking about it. There's a lack of mental strength here for some reason. Afraid to move forward. You're afraid to move forward into your destiny. You have a destined path right here. You do. A change. Don't believe. I don't have faith. Afraid. Afraid. No faith. No faith that this will get off the ground. Afraid of betrayal. Afraid to get stabbed. Afraid to get hurt. It's time to let go of those fears, please. It's the completion of something that was very hurtful. You have an ability to, or you're being presented with an offer to... Look at that owl. That's so wise. You're being presented with an offer to perhaps not be alone. To not be alone anymore. Let go, because this is the end. The ten is an end. It's the end of despair. Now, the owl brings in change. You're, this is a big change, and this is a change as well. You have an opportunity for a big change, but it's like you're looking at commitment. I think you're scared of commitment at this point. <laughs> You could be dealing with a Queen of Coins, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Leo. Either way, it's there's closure that is needed here still. Nines are closure needed. Queen of Coins reverse. You're not being practical. You're not being realistic. You're not being grounded. You have an opportunity for love in which you might not have the strength to accept because of some bad commitment that you were in. Something, you know, maybe it's maybe you're still going through a divorce or a separation and you feel like you you feel like you don't you're not stable enough. But you are stable enough. Slow and steady. You don't need to hurry. You don't need to hurry into this. Whoever this person is, they're, they're stable, they're secure, and they are patient. And it's something you probably want to keep. This person wants to hold on to you. And it could lead to victory and success. So I think that this this third month, you guys may recognize that you don't want to be alone, that you're ready for a relationship. But there's there's a, a lack of concentration here, a lack of focus. You really like your independence, don't you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Somebody really likes their independence or they're afraid of independence, one or the other. Somebody is making progress right here. But there's a, still a lack of positive thinking. I mean, you keep this like you go back and forth, right? There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you could get out of your if you could get out of your negative thinking. Whoever this person is that they have brought in into your life, I think at the probably this month. There's an opportunity for this to be successful. For this to be stable, for this to lead to wish fulfillment. The only caveat is your negative thinking and your fear, your fear of giving somebody your heart. This is a destiny. This is destiny. It is destiny. It's meant to be. This change, of course, this opportunity, this, this whatever it is, it's brought to you. It's brought. It's a reward. But you may block it. You may not. You may be. You may block this whole thing. You could definitely. You could block it, or you could stall it. Because you're still. 
focused on something that hurt you in the past. When you have this opportunity, you have an opportunity for love in this third month. You absolutely do. But it's like you're blocking it with your own negative thinking. You're afraid of being in a one-sided situation. You're afraid of, of being rejected. You're afraid of getting hurt. You're afraid of not getting what you deserve. You're afraid of giving it all and not, and not getting any reciprocation. That's your fear. There's an opportunity for something stable and long-term here. With whoever this person is, I would say that you should... Uh, Well, let's see. Get prepared for it. Appreciate it. It's what you wished for. It's the opportunity. It's your ship coming in. Get on the ship. Take it. Do it. Give it a whirl. It's what you have manifested. It's what you want. It's what you have been waiting for. You're receiving what you have been waiting for, take it. Don't let your fears and whoever hurt you in the past hold you back. Because they'll be the ones holding you back from success. Your thoughts of them are going to hold you back from success. They're still in control if you let that happen. There's an opportunity. The overall outcome is happiness for this month with somebody that you are destined to probably be with. It's the reward for completing that difficult chapter you have been through. All you got to do is think positive and trust and believe. It's meant to be. This change, of course, this new opportunity, this run-in that you have is meant to be third month. Could happen second to third month. Good luck.